Hello everyone, my name is Shelby and this is the series where I reveal what is inside these mystery pottery molds I found on Gumtree. Hello and welcome to mold 47. So this one is a two piece mold. It's got two round large holes in the top and then one small one on the other side. And I had a blue pie, I nearly poured it without even putting the rubber band on it. Got too excited and ahead of myself. So I quickly added that rubber band. That would have been a major disaster if I didn't realize in time because it just would have come apart and the clay would have went everywhere. But caught it it's all good so pour those two holes up first um something with a mold where it's got a hole on a different side is you need to make sure that you pour it at, on the same sort of hour-ish that's just so that both sides set at the same time like you don't have one set of holes dry out too much compared to the other side because when you pull away pull apart the two pieces of the mold what can happen is if it's not dry enough it can pull the piece apart so you want to make sure that if you've got multiple holes you pour it at the same time now opening this up the big reveal um <laughs> what are these what are these i don't even know so this mold stated that it was frogs slime and brain which totally makes sense looking at these but i still can't even make out what even these are they're so <laughs> so bizarre um they kind of remind me of like a 90s cartoon based on a sort of horror Halloween theme. But here's the mold in case you're wondering. It's 1780. There you go. The frog slime and brain. It's black by Clay Magic. 1990s it was made in. But yeah, it's really hard to make out what the shapes are. Um, the frogs are like a pile of frogs and it's really hard to make out what each frog is. There's just frog limbs and eyeballs everywhere. The brain is pretty reasonable. I don't really like how you can see the seam line throughout the whole brain. Um, that was just how it came out of the mold. And the slime is just odd. <laughs> <laughs> it's just odd. I think it's got lips and a nose and a little tooth, but I, I'm not really in love. I don't really know how to paint these. So I decided to do some sort of a, a Halloween purple. So that sort of bluey Halloween color and I spilt the paint everywhere. <laughs> so you're seeing this footage. I'm using the spilt paint, making lemonade out of lemons in this situation. Um, so I decided to do a purple base and then go back in with a black and antique the pieces. Um, the brain, I did just a plain red, um, pretty simple, but I, uh, the, the shapes of these are really undefined. Um, it's, <sighs> I just find these very unappealing. They're just very unappealing pieces, but it makes sense for Halloween. So the idea behind antiquing them was to kind of give them a cartoony look, is that I felt like just with the color, they were a bit flat and a bit, um, yeah, just flat. So adding the black sort of gave that definition to all the shapes. It sort of gave it this sort of antique patina, like a aged Halloween decor item. So adding that red, um, the other thing about this week's reveal is it's very short because there wasn't really much to show you this week. Like there's not really much to highlight. The only other thing with the frogs was I was going to paint each frog a different color. So it sort of stood out. But as I went to paint the frogs, I noticed that they're not really full bodied. Like there's a couple that <laughs> you can clearly see their full body, but there's a lot of other ones where there's limbs and stuff that I don't even know where it connects. And I just thought it was going to end up looking weird if I painted them each individually with a different color green. So I went in and got a splodge of different colored greens and sort of did this sort of <laughs> this splodging motion. I don't know how to explain what I've done, but I just sort of dabbed my paintbrush in each color. Wasn't afraid of where they mixed, wasn't afraid of how they sort of smushed around and played with each other and just added different highlights and lowlights into the frog so that it sort of gave it a bit more of a dynamic look compared to this slime because I just felt like the slime, I just feel like it's not challenging me enough. Like I don't feel like I've been able to add enough of me into this piece, but the piece doesn't really lend itself to anything else 
They definitely lend themselves to a likeness of a 90s cartoon, especially given this mold was made in the 90s. The one thing I did sort of connect with was the brain. It was, it's so gross, it's so detailed and ick, but it reminded me of a TV show I watched as a kid. It was called Round the Twist and it's so iconic in Australia. It's a family that live in a lighthouse and all these strange occurrences happen and they're just so bizarre and weird and strange and people have compared this to sort of like the American Goosebumps. Um, it's just so odd and I don't even know why we watch this kids because it's quite horrific but it's not even the worst episode. I don't know why this one scared me the most but it the episode was called Brainless and what happened was the brother and the sister had a science, science experiment go wrong and their brains were sucked out of their noses but the brains could like hop so they could like move <laughs> as a brain around town and it just the scene of them hopping around town just grossed me out at, like there were so many worst episodes and so many people have said what they were said, like the worst episodes are <laughs> this episode doesn't compare to how bad those ones are but for some reason this one just really bothered me and it still bothers me and this brain instantly <laughs> reminded me of the brainless episode and just yeah, oh, I, I'm not loving this week to reveal for that, but I'm making it work. So this is the antiquing step. I've added a black underglaze on top and I'm sponging it down. Here you can see the comparison between before and after. It really brings out those details and the different limbs and elements and eyeballs and whatnots on there. It kind of makes it more defined and easier to read. I just, I just find this mold is just really hard to read what it is and I think that's a major design flaw is I get that it's meant to be imaginative and creepy and ghouly but I think that if you're going to create a character it needs to be really that's just my personal opinion but it just needs to be really easy to go yep that's what it is that's the face that's what this is um, rather than sort of a blob yeah they're blobs <laughs> so I decided that because I didn't really love this week's reveal I decided to to glaze half and unglaze the other half to compare them and to see how it shifts and change, changes this sort of Halloween decoration look and here is the finished results after they went in the kiln overnight I open it up to see that there was quite a big difference between the glaze and the underglaze. On some of the other pieces, there hasn't been such a harsh difference, but I think maybe that's because this time I've done it with a black antiquing detail. You can clearly see the vibrancy of the underglaze is completely different. You've got a more chalky look, which makes sense because the glaze adds a gloss, but this is the same color. That, that has changed so much. I do like that the lines are so crisp with that antiquing, like it just gives it this elevated level of ick. <laughs> I like the gloss glaze better in this example, just because the green looks more vibrant and you can see that mixing and meddling of the colors a lot better. I just think that by mixing those colors, it just made the piece more dynamic as well. I needed to find a piece that I love again. I just, I'm doing these to give them justice, but oh my gosh, sometimes I just don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I really don't love them like this blob maybe if I enhanced the nose and the lips and did the little teeth maybe I'd like it more but then again I just it makes me uncomfortable this shape just makes me feel ick I just I don't like it it's just <laughs> I you know here they all are together um they look great as a collection for Halloween but that's about it I have not a vibe of this my Halloween aesthetic is like cute little ghosts and pumpkins and stuff not this stuff anyway <laughs> i want to know what do you think of this week's reveal are you a fan or are you like me <laughs> really just disturbed by this week's reveal let me know in the comments make sure to do your thing thank you for watching and here's your sneak peek for next week